The Marvo KG934 is a TKL mech that incorporates a full numpad into its layout. This is a clicky keyboard featuring Atemu blue switches rated for 50 million key presses. The KG934 has full RGB backlighting and NK rollover. At $60, this board is a little more expensive than the KG901 or KG914, but still fairly budget friendly. So what's great about this layout is that you still have the compact form factor of a TKL, but you get a complete numpad. So this board not only gives you that extra real estate for your mouse, but it's going to work great for productivity. With this layout, the nav cluster and scroll lock pause and print screen keys are replaced by a numpad. You can still access the nav cluster through the numpad of course. If numlock is on, you just hold shift to gain access to these keys, or with numlock off, they are dedicated. You can access the scroll lock pause and print screen keys via the FN layer. This is a very convenient arrangement if you're looking for a smaller form factor without sacrificing productivity. It's basically a full-sized board packed into the TKL form factor. Numlock can be toggled with FN plus backspace, and the LED will turn light blue to show that it is on. The rest of the FN layer is pretty standard for a Marvel board. We have our media controls on the FRO, then there is comprehensive RGB control, a Windows lock, and custom gaming profiles. So there are 5 gaming profiles in total, including FPS, MOBA, and RTS color arrangements. You can customize any of these. Just press FN plus escape to start recording, and press FN plus escape again once finished. If you'd like to revert back to the default profiles, you can do a reset by holding FN plus tilde for 3 seconds. So not only does the KG934 have full RGB backlighting, but the case features lighting zones on the sides. You can set the color mode with FN plus square bracket. There are two dynamic modes, namely wave and color cycle, then you have 8 static colors. Or you can just switch it off entirely if it's not your cup of tea. Looks really cool in the dark, as the light that spills onto the mouse pad gives the keyboard a floaty effect. Really loving the case design here. The frame is very compact and there is an attractive silver accent that runs around it. It's a full plastic enclosure, but the board has a sturdy feel and doesn't bend easily. Four rubber feet on the bottom, as the foldouts double up as rubber feet when not in use. The foldouts have a flat surface, so just be careful of scraping your desk pad when sliding the board around. There are a total of 15 RGB modes, and you can cycle through these with FN plus F9. Brightness and speed control can be found on the arrow keys, and with some of the color schemes you can set 7 different single colors. However, the software gives you a nice RGB color palette for more flexibility. I like the look of this keyboard. The case looks compact and sleek, and the RGB backlighting looks stunning. There really is a big difference between rainbow backlighting and full RGB. My only nitpick would be that on some of the keys it doesn't shine through very nicely on the edges, but you're not really going to notice this. I also really like this medium font, as it allows more backlighting through, but still looks elegant and professional. On a personal note, I'm not a huge fan of these FN icons, especially the ones on the arrow keys. I feel like the keyboard would look more professional without them. The Born for Gaming branding on Spacebar looks awesome though. We have double shot ABS keycaps with a thickness of 0.9mm. 
So Movo keyboards usually feature Temu or Quantin switches, and this keyboard comes with the clicky Otemu Blues. Otemu Blues are a very solid budget switch, and these have an actuation force of 60 grams. You get that tactile bump accompanied by the click sound when a key is pressed. The stabilizers is an area where I feel Marvo can improve. I did experience some rattle on the bigger keys, especially spacebar. And this is also something I encountered with the KG901 and 914 boards. But overall, it's a good typing experience, and it was really satisfying typing on a clicky board again, especially as I haven't used one in a while. The metal ping is also very low on this board, which is a big plus. The spacebar has a nice curved bottom edge, so it feels soft on the thumb. The software has everything you need. There is a macro editor, and then you can do individual key remapping. The options include single key assignment, macros, and media controls. You also have full control over the RGB, and on some of the modes, you can choose a color with a nifty little RGB color palette. So in summary, I think the Marvel KG934 has a very convenient layout, and it strikes a very good balance between gaming and productivity. It has a sleek case design with vibrant RGB backlining. The stabilizers can be improved, but overall the typing experience is still solid. A good buy if you're looking for something smaller but still need your numpad. Thank you.